but no action has been taken yet by the ICAI, which is the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, citing lack of evidence. So is this regulator effective enough or a mere rubber stamp for chartered accountants? Neha Jain tries to find some answers. Price Waterhouse partners S. Gopala Krishnan and Srinivas Taluri have been in custody for over three days now. But still, no concrete action has been taken by the Chartered Accountants body ICAI against the alleged partners. The institute says police arrests do not provide enough evidence to take any action against its members. See, police arrest is for the purpose of investigations only. It's not, nothing beyond that. And you will agree that uh, whatever the statement which are made and investigations are there, they are part, they cannot be considered as part of a evidence in the court of law. So for action, taking action under my law, there is enough mechanism which we follow. We carry out the investigation at our level. ICAI further says law gives the institute a limited mandate under which it can function and does not allow all chartered accountants defaults to be governed by the body. That a limited sphere in which we are prepared. The institute does not have the mandate to punish people for cheating, punish people for forgery, punish people for doing other offenses which are covered under the Indian Penal Code. So please don't try to link these two things which are two distinct things. One is credibility and the assurance in the financial statement. So our mandate is limited to that only. As the Satyam story unfolds, it's also bringing some realities to the surface in terms of bringing justice to the offenders. The ICAI, which is projected to be taking care of all issues in the accounting world, is actually tied in the ambit of law when it comes to showing results. In New Delhi, Neha Jain, NDTV.